What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode with Mom and Papa Joe's. Headed to my local Gucci B. <laughs> That's my high-end uh, H-E-B. I have no idea what we're going to cook today. Uh, hopefully, there's something interesting in that display case. Uh, hopefully, you guys will help me pick it out. Uh, we won't know until we get there, so it's going to be a surprise for all of us. Stay tuned. All right, so, so I've walked up and down this display case a couple of three times before I remembered I was supposed to be filming. Uh, nothing has really caught my eye. I saw some decent uh, beef short ribs and uh, I thought about maybe getting them cut into flanking ribs right there. They've got some uh, awesome meats but nothing that really jumped out at me. Do rib eyes, huh? Excuse me. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is just to get this gentleman uh, to cut uh, a pound and a half, two pounds of uh, that beef short rib right there. Hey buddy, can I see one of those uh, sides again? All right. Yeah, so he's going to cut that for me uh, into some flanking ribs and that's what I am going to cook uh, today. Thanks buddy. All right, let's get the show on the road. First thing we're gonna do is make a very simple marinade for these flanking ribs. I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of soy sauce, uh, two tablespoons of white grape juice, two tablespoons of uh, sweet cooking wine, one tablespoon of some rice uh, vinegar. Uh, to your liking, finely minced onions and garlic. Lastly, I'm gonna come back with two teaspoons, and I wanna measure this because uh, sesame oil can become overpowering quickly. Two teaspoons of sesame oil. And then a nice shake of black pepper. Just want to give that a good stir. This is awesome overnight. I'm only going to have a couple of three, four hours max. Here are our beautiful flanking ribs. All right, cross cut short ribs. Now they're choice grade, nicely marbled. This is about a pound and a half. They're about a quarter inch uh, thick. They should cook up fairly quickly. All we're gonna do is place these in a sandwich baggie. Come back with that marinade. And just right over and into that bag. <coughs> Squeeze out the air. And just want to make sure that everybody gets covered. Like I said, overnight is great, but at a minimum you want two hours. I'm going to be able to allow these to go for about four hours today. Our flanking ribs are fresh out of the fridge. I've dried them off. If you really want to get them to color uh, during the grilling process, you got to make sure that some of that moisture is removed. Uh, we also keep it in mind that there's some sugar in that marinade, so uh, we want to be careful when we're cooking. Today I'm going to be seasoning with Rio Valley's our Perfecto, an awesome balanced uh, rub. I'm really using this one because of the, uh, the paprika, that, uh, that red color that I think is gonna go really well with the nice char I'm planning on adding to these short ribs. Uh, we're gonna go pretty heavily. This is just so well balanced, it's a beautiful rub.
All right, we're gonna give these a few minutes to uh, sweat in, head outside and get the Weber cranked up. All right, we're rocking our usual cowboy hardwood briquettes today, man. Uh, our flankings got a nice sweat going. These are between a quarter of an inch, a quarter and three eighths of an inch. So they're not gonna take long. Two, maybe uh, two and a half, three minutes per side. All right, that's been two and a half minutes. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Uh oh. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Woo wee! Those look good. And there we have another two and a half minutes. Uh, let's pull these. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Man, I don't know if you're anything like me. I hate leaving coals like this, but uh, that's going to be it for the day. Let's head inside. All right, let's put together a little bit of a platter here, man. We've got some awesome jasmine rice. Uh, I love this Asian seaweed salad. It goes very well with this dish. On top of that jasmine rice, uh, I sprinkle some crispy seaweed. You talk about delicious, nicely seasoned, really add something you know i'm always looking to kick things up a notch and we're going to come back oh with the star of the show mm, mm, mm. Ladies and gentlemen, if that doesn't get you, nothing will. <laughs> All right, folks, so uh, simple cook, man. A very simple cook. <clears throat> that crispy seaweed. Nothing else on that rice, but that crispy seaweed just really, uh, just brings it to life. And then we throw in that seaweed salad Oh, it's all over with. And this well cooked. Oh, I don't know if you can see that color on the inside. Man, it's absolutely beautiful. Mm. Juicy. So we're not going to waste any time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, short cook, very simple. This is something you can do. Uh, after work if, if that's what it calls for you can marinate overnight come back in uh, the next day man you're less than 10 minutes on the grill simple but absolutely delicious i want to thank you guys as usual for hanging out with mom and pop joe's but if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button man go ahead and do so we really appreciate your support i want y'all to take care of yourselves i uh, love each other and we'll see you when we see you Holla.